am I doing here? Am I explaining things? I like explaining things. But if I'm explaining things, at what speed am I explaining them? I mean, am I simplifying things to the point where I could sum up the entire universe in a single sentence? It's a joke. Or am I explaining things in detail, like Khan Academy? And taking four hours to explain what I mean by one word? Am I doing tutorials? I like showing people how to do cool things. But I'm not really a big fan of making tutorials. They're kind of a pain. And if I'm making tutorials, what am I making tutorials about? I mean, I do a lot of stuff. Everything from, like, mechanics work to computer engineering to, you know, like, the garden thing that I did before. To cooking, to cleaning, just about anything. Should I just be myself? Who am I? What defines me? Is it my ideas? Is it my thoughts? Is it my interests? But I'm not really interested that much in myself. I'm more interested in you. I mean, what's life like for you? And I don't care if you're an actual person, or if you're a cat, or a dog, or a goldfish, or a plant. I'm really interested in what life is like for all other life. So here's what originally got me started. So the first thing that I did when before I started recording myself is I wrote out kind of a, a layout of stuff that I wanted to do and I have like here conversations with self where I, I'm like I, I imagine myself having a studio and like a green screen behind me and like lighting on the green screen but not on me so you couldn't really see me and then I could put images behind me depending upon what I was talking about and then like one side I would state something and, and you know how so I'm a firm believer in so on one side I would state something and then on the other side I would unstate it pretty much basically tell myself of all of the reasons why it was wrong or how I defined it just didn't fit the concept of reality. Kind of like up. Up can never be realized because it's undefined. I mean, I can say that that's up, and to you and me right here, I, of course that's up. But where I'm actually pointing is constantly moving. I think it's like 1600 miles per hour or something is how fast my finger is moving right now. So, up can never really be defined. It, unless you narrow down the concept of reality to a piece of paper or something. And then another thing that I, I, I really wanted to do is there's a whole bunch of really cool stuff on YouTube. And I kind of wanted to say here, you know, like, I, I was thinking of Microsoft... Um, what is it called? What is it called? Microsoft something 2. Surface. I was thinking about doing this on, like, Microsoft Surface 2. Like, take a YouTube channel, like CGP Grey or something like that, a number file, and putting that up in the corner and then dropping down like a few of their coolest videos just to kind of give you a better introduction to all of the awesomeness that I've been watching for the last two months, three months since I got Google TV. And, and then another idea that I had was like, I, I put something up on the screen and then I start to describe it as it fades to black and then when it gets to perfectly black I, I jump to the next thing that I'm talking about or something else that illustrates the point that I'm trying to make. And then I have, you know, this is my notebook and it like 
half of this is not, well, a little bit less than half of it's full of my ideas, stuff that I want to get out on the video, and all of it's just turning into brain crack. Because I, I don't have enough time to get everything on video the way that I want it, and then edit it, and to add everything that I want to it, and it's just like, there's so much that's been at a loss in my recent videos. There's so many people that I want to thank and so much more that I want to do and it's so much more that I want to explain. <sighs> but here's something. Um, there's a, when I first started out, I really liked the invocation for beginning. Um, click there. I'm scared that my abilities are gone. I'm scared that I'm going to fuck this up. And I'm scared of you. So what I did is I took each sentence and I, I wrote the sentence at the top of the page and I just kind of put whatever I thought about that sentence or whatever I thought went with that kind of the meaning of that sentence. And then on the back I'd do like jokes about it. And they're, they're probably not great jokes, but meh. And like, here's another one. And, and then I'll put something funny after this right here. Okay, that's about good. I still want this higher. Oh. Okay. something you don't okay up there okay I think that's better uh, make sure you're facing me and then we can bring this back down here now I think I forgot what I was going to say I gonna talk about? Oh yeah, breathing. Okay. Uh, should I button the button? No, leave it. Okay. I, I kind of don't. I feel like I need to be covered more. No button, the button. I'm so white. I need to get out more. Get the button through the hole. There we go. Okay, is that better? Yeah, that's better. Okay. So as none of you probably know, I think the best relationships are truly honest relationships. The ones where you can tell your partner anything. Like when I first met the Yeti, I think it was like the second or third time we met each other, we went over to Ease and I told her stuff that I don't tell anybody, ever. Like I've never told anyone before, period. And I have this thing, whenever I'm expressing myself in a way, I don't breathe. Like I'll sit in bed and have a thought to myself and then I'll run through the thought like I'm doing right now talking and you still can't see the expressions with my hands. Seriously, I even do it when I'm typing. And this scares the Yeti, because I do it in bed when I'm thinking to myself. So a few weeks ago when we were in bed talking, which we do a lot of, I was holding my breath and she kept telling me to breathe. She's always telling me to breathe. That's kind of why Zay Frank's Scared Song really meant a lot to me. So I'm laying there holding my breath like this. And I tell her, Love or toilet.